Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Ulta Beauty has started putting out some of their holiday sets. They have tons of them to choose from already and I am so excited. I wanna go check it out and show you guys everything. So we're gonna do a new at Ulta video where I just go to the store and I go through all the new collections and we will go over every single holiday release that they have. I love doing fun shop with me videos like this. I've uploaded quite a few this week including a Walmart Halloween makeup one and also just a Halloween decor one including Walmart Walmart and Target, but now we're back to holiday makeup for Christmas. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead to Ulta and see what we can find. So walking in, the first thing I saw, they had the Ariana Grande Cloud Pink setup. I know this was released a little bit ago now, but it's still very new to Ulta. I did buy this one and I really have been liking it. I think it's a nice fruitier version of Cloud and I would recommend it. I did do a YouTube shorts on this if you want to check it out, but I really like this fragrance from them. We also have a brand new brand to Ulta which is called Polite Society Beauty and this is actually by the original creators and founders of Too Faced and they have a new mascara. This is actually very good. I did a whole video testing out this line and I actually was impressed. This lip plumper, oh my gosh, amazing. They actually have some really good things. They also have this gorgeous little cheek palette be careful with these though because these do arrive broken so check yours i would say before buying but it's a really nice formula and they also have a foundation as well i'll link my video down below where i tested all these things but i was pleasantly surprised by this brand it's only at ulta right now next is all the holiday makeup and tarte has their setup already they always have tons of gift sets for the holidays first they have this maracuja juicy lip set which in contains a couple of their different formulas. There's the cream, the juicy lips, and also the shifty ones in here. So you get a lot for your money. They also have this four mini palette set as well. I see a little juicy palette in there. That one was probably my favorite. These aren't always the best quality, but it is a good deal. They have the new Man Eater After Dark. I do have a review on that. And they also have this three face palette set, which why do these face palettes look so similar? I don't know about this one. They all just look like they don't have much difference to them. They have the Honeysuckle Holiday Set, which actually looks pretty cute. It has a little palette, a juicy lip, and a lip liner. These three quick stick eyeliners. And also, I always love their mascara sets. It's a really great deal. All these full sizes for $44. And they always do a lash curler every year. And this one looks like it also has an eyeliner in it. On the other side, they do have their just Tartlet palette those are not new and they do have these shape tape kits that comes with a shape tape and a juicy lip there is very limited colors in these though so you'll have to make sure they have it I've, i feel like they didn't have enough deeper shades in my opinion a lot of the fair ones and then this is a really nice set it comes with four of like their cheek products the highlight and the blushes i think this is a really great deal these are very comparable to the uh charlotte tilbury one and they also have this mini kit with a mini shape tape concealer and also their Sculpt Liquid Contour, which I thought was a nice set. Next up, Too Faced. They also always go all out for the holidays. The first thing we saw was this Let It Snow Globe set. This is a little collection that comes with three little snow globe palettes. So here is a close-up of all of them. I'm not always the biggest fan of their holiday things, but if you want to bang for your buck, it comes with a lot, and they're very giftable. We have the Sexy Lips and Lashes Kit with their mascara and lip injection. Then this Popcorn Balls palette kind of caught my eye. I like the fun purples in here, and I actually thought it didn't swatch too bad. I might have to pick this one up. We have the Plump and Pretty Little Mini Lip Injection Kit. Next, we have this Merry Merry Makeup Set. This is their big palette for for the holidays so it contains like a bunch of stuff you got your eyeshadows you also have some cheek products in here they always do something like this every single year but there is quite a bit of colors in here just like lots of wearable neutrals in a couple wearable colors the pop tart palettes i've gone over in a previous video and then i did do a whole video on the maple syrup pancakes palette if you guys want to check it out they also have the maple syrup lip injection which smells amazing it smells just like pancakes the palette doesn't really smell like pancakes that much but oh my gosh the lip injection smells so good 
here is the colors close up it does have a nice range of colors now this kit i really like their pillow balm set i always get these every year and they have new shades so i'm very tempted the warm and spicy kit i love that it has like a more berry-ish tone the holiday wine looks so pretty i feel like this would give a nice tint to the lips i just love this formula and these all smell really good now benefit has a bunch of kits this year with a bunch of their like best selling products this is the north pole set which has a couple minis in it we also have the lash and brow belt. this is the bangin lash kit the bad gal season which even has like a blush in it the pom-pom blush the fluff and festive brows this is the naughty list lashes lots of mascaras in here i always love their cheek palettes this is twinkle and jingle which comes with like their popular highlighters and a blush and then cheery cheeks has a bronzer blush and highlight these are the best deal i feel like and then they have these larger kits the skincare one holiday pour the pour the merrier set as well now hourglass had their holiday collection already in ulta which includes their cheek palettes these are so popular every year they have three different ones this year one for more medium skin tones the deeper skin tones and also the more fair skin tones everyone's been talking about these and i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick one up Ariana Grande also has her fragrance kits this year. They have this little mini set, which is so cute. And she has gift sets for each of her popular fragrances. It comes with like a full size, a mini, and then a little ornament, which I think is a shower gel. But these are always so cute. Urban Decay always does a naked palette for the holidays, and this year they did the Metal Mania palette. I wasn't really that into this one with the yellows and pinks going on, but it actually swatched kind of nice. It is a more neutral palette, though, besides those two pops of color, but honestly, the silver in the palette is so pretty. So if you guys were interested in this one, I don't know. I've actually heard pretty good things about it. Look at that silver, though. So gorgeous. Next up, we have Laura Mercier. They have some new stuff I haven't seen before i didn't know they came out with these highlight ones everyone is trying to dupe the charlotte tilbury it seems they look exactly the same but i'm just kind of tired of every brand doing the same packaging it's just getting redundant at this point but these didn't swatch as bright they're very subtle in my opinion rem beauty has a new foundation now i feel like they've been getting some hype around this one so i really want to try it it's called the sweetener foundation i know their stuff isn't like super widely talked about or raved about that much but this foundation has been all over my tiktok feed so i do kind of want to try this one and see what it's all about it's supposed to be a nice skincare kind of foundation and hopefully it has some good coverage there are so many shades in this line tons of brands have new foundations out bobby brown also has a new skin tint it's called the vitamin enriched skin tint as you guys may have heard of their vitamin enriched face base which is a really popular primer i'm kind of curious in trying this one out as well i feel like this would also have nice skin caring ingredients in it there's also a new powder in the collection as well the vitamin enriched pressed powder which does have a few different shades this is the golden brown there's like a peach a yellow and a neutral just to kind of color correct as well as set the face it's also supposed to be very blurring on the skin now bare minerals had a few new things i haven't seen before apparently they have a new serum foundation this is so liquidy <laughs> like wow so it really is supposed to be like a true serum it's a 93 percent skincare infused it's called the original pure serum but i guess it's supposed to give a little bit of a tint on the face as well and then I noticed they had a new product here too for their skincare. This is the vitamin C brightening moisturizer. They do a ton of skincare and makeup launches like all the time. They're always coming out with something new. And then I'm really excited about these. These are the highlighting blushes. These just look so pretty. I would, I don't really like super shiny blushes, but I would probably use maybe some of the lighter shades as a highlighter. This is a couple of them swatched. I don't know. I thought they were very very pretty and then i'm also excited that they came out with new bronzers. they have a couple new colors i really like the kiss of pink one that i have but i definitely would try a new shade now drunk elephant has a new product too and these are their new be glowy highlighting drops of course the bronzer drops have been so popular so they decided to do a highlight version or sorry they're called be goldy not be glowy <laughs> i feel like they have another product called glowy these are very subtle they just give a subtle glow to the skin 
There is tons of new perfumes out. First up, they have a new Chanel Chance. I, I don't know how to say this. Oh, fresh, I think it is. I'm always a fan of the original Chance O Tendra is what I usually use. This one's a little bit more floral. I wasn't like in love with it, but I mean, it's nice, but I just prefer their other ones. We also have a new perfume from Burberry. This is the Goddess. I've been loving this one. It's a really pretty vanilla scent. You guys know I love my vanillas. It is on the lighter side though, but I really, really love the fragrance. And then Viva La Juicy or Juicy Couture brought back their Sucra scent, which is in this gorgeous dessert type of bottle. And this one, it's very similar to the original Viva La Juicy. Probably not enough to justify it. I prefer their gold version if you want something a little sweeter. And then Prada has a new Paradox perfume. Their original Paradox launched last year and now they have the intense version. I did try this one in stores. I wasn't in love. It kind of gave off a bug spray vibe. Like it really reminded me of the Bath and Body Works chasing fireflies. There wasn't much new drugstore stuff but Milani actually had a couple things including new colors in their fruit fetish lip oils. These are one of the best drugstore lip oil formulas on the market and I'm loving these new shades for fall. I had to go ahead and pick up a couple. They also have a new lip mask as well in the collection. Also wanted to mention ColourPop because they actually had their Rock On palette in stores. So you can get this one in store. I really liked this one. If you guys like warm kind of fiery neutral shades, these are very pretty. And I was excited to see that they had that one. They also had the matching Super Shocks from the collection. And then this was at the checkout, but I didn't know that Jennifer Aniston had a hair care line. This is called Lola V, I believe it is. And they had a bunch of different hair products. I'm very curious in trying these out too. They are more high end. So most of them run for about $25. But yeah, I had no idea she had a hair care brand. So that was really cool to see. And I may or may not try something from them in the future. Okay, guys. So there was so much there. And I did end up buying a few things while I was there. Now, this is probably what I am most excited about. I wanted to go ahead and grab this Hourglass Jellyfish palette. Now, if I had only known that Hourglass was doing a 20% off code, I totally would have bought this on Hourglass. So I will have that code down below in the description box so you guys can save 20% on this because this is a steep palette and you might as well save some money. Hopefully the code still works. I know their holiday cheek palettes always are pretty viral every single year and sometimes I'm just like you know I feel like they're kind of the same thing over and over but this one I really like because I feel like I can do a full face with this palette it's gonna make such a nice travel palette as well it just has everything in one I love the quality of hourglass powders now this one has a few permanent shades in the line including this diffused light finishing powder which this is nice to set the under eyes it actually gives a really nice bright almost tiny bit yellow appearance it has just a hint of like a creamy yellow to it so I love that for under the eyes this powder too which is their finishing powder in ethereal light you can also use that to brighten up the under eyes just give an overall lift from within appearance to the skin we have a blush in rose fusion this is such a pretty color and I do have a get ready with me which I'll probably post next where you guys could see this in action and see the colors another blush in the palette this is one of their regular shades they always have it is called diffused heat and it's a very pretty corally peach shade we have a highlight called opal strobe light which this is a nice kind of pearl highlight it is very beautiful and lastly there's actually a bronzer that works really good for my skin tone it is quite warm this one is the lunar bronze color and here you have the shades in this. So I definitely have this as one of my must-haves for the holidays this year. These do sell out usually. Um, so I don't know if they'll still be in stock by the time the Sephora sale comes around. So I would honestly try to use that 20% on Hourglass if you guys are wanting this. But the Jellyfish one works perfect if you guys have more fair to light skin tones. Now I also picked out this Tarte set because I thought this would be really nice to have. This is one of my favorite things that they're offering this year besides the man eater after dark palette this is the mistletoe glow it comes with their blush tapes and also a highlight now these also make it nice little stocking stuffers if you have multiple to gift to you can just stick one in each you know stocking 
but let's go ahead and swatch these so we have the pink i have not tried these liquid blushes yet they look just like the charlotte tilbury i did buy the bronzer version but i didn't love the bronzer to be honest i'm hoping i will like these blushes more but it looks very beautiful so it's literally the same applicator as the charlotte tilbury ones next shade is coral i guess this one would technically be a highlight this is amber glow it's a little dark for me i could use it as a blush i would think and then we have a pearl glow which i think is going to be a gorgeous icy highlight these all swatch so beautifully, so this is definitely one of my must-haves for the holiday season from Ulta. Now, from Too Faced, I don't always love their holiday stuff, but I always like to pick up their Pillow Balm Kit. This is my favorite formula of lip products from them, and they had some new colors this year that I think are stunning. Just wait until the try-on tomorrow, because this shade right here... Is gorgeous so it comes with a little mini of this just their regular pillow balm these are very nice and hydrating just nice balmy glosses for the lips we got spice cider which does smell so good and this one has a little shimmer to it. it's like a champagne lip balm now my favorite color is the holiday wine because I feel like this is the most pigmented balm that they have done yet and it just gives a nice like berry pink color to the lips and it feels so good so i'm loving those this year definitely recommend the warm and spicy pillow balm set i'll have all these linked for you in the description box and on the youtube shopping here now i also picked up this palette i was kind of unsure if i wanted to get it or not but i did swatch it and it seemed like it might be okay so i picked up the new Too faced popcorn balls <laughs> little kit this is one of their mini palettes and they used to do these in like the tin packaging they don't anymore i don't know why but very random that they picked popcorn balls for the theming i mean i guess a lot of people do for the holidays they'll decorate with like those popcorn string garland things and people do make popcorn balls as like a holiday tree it's just like popcorn and marshmallow into a ball mixed together you could put like m ms in it and stuff like that but i didn't mind this one i thought the swatches were okay this has kind of a slightly sweet scent to it i think it's supposed to smell it says it smells like sweet and salty popcorn balls but i don't know it's just sweet to me let's go ahead and swatch this here's the swatches up close but i thought it actually swatched pretty nice in my opinion the only shade i don't really like in here is that macaroni and cheese orange i feel like that one doesn't fit but overall i think this is very pretty i also picked up the new ariana grande sweetener foundation from rem beauty i've been hearing some good things about this one and i really wanted to try it out so we will be doing this one in a wear test tomorrow there's actually quite a few shades in here i picked up fair 6CN which seems to be a pretty good match maybe a hint light but honestly I really wanted to try this because it's supposed to be more of a skincare type of a foundation and then last but not least I did pick up two of the new Milani lip oils I really love these and they came out with new shades for the fall and I feel like these are like my tones these are perfection they have the best drugstore lip oil formula I got the shade lychee nectar which smells so free. It smells like raspberries and you can see it just gives you like this glassy rose kind of look. Kind of similar to the Too Faced Pillow Balm. This is going to be a little more shiny I would say on the lips and maybe a hint lighter than the Too Faced one. And then this color, this is the Cocoa and this one smells like coconuts and chocolate and it has a slight brown tint to it. I absolutely love these. I think they're definitely worth checking out and they do have them in store and online. So that's what I picked up at Ulta so far for the holidays. These are my kind of recommendations and what I think is the best of their sets right now. I'm sure they're going to be adding even more stuff in the next few weeks. This is just kind of the start of it all, but let me know what you guys plan on picking up this year and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.